Yo, YouTube, what's up, man? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cool skull effect in After Effects for music videos. And you can turn your boring footage from looking like this to looking like this. Now, obviously, I know the, the movement of the skull is not like, you know, monumental or anything like that. It's just all intensive purposes for this tutorial. I didn't put a ton of effort into the actual animation itself, but I think the concept is there and the transformation is cool. And if you guys don't know me, my name is JMO. I teach people how to make high quality music video effects and I'm uploading every day this month in the month of October. So definitely make sure to stay tuned. All of my high quality editing packs and presets are linked down in the description if you want to check them out. So, <laughs> you know, don't mind my hair here. You know, I just woke up when I filmed this shit. So first off, what I want to do off rip, I want to grab the content aware fill. So I'm just going to go ahead and mask this out so I can remove my head. So I'm just going to start masking out the neck and head. It can be a rough mask. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then again, for the purposes of this video, I, I made sure that I wasn't moving my body too much. What you'll go ahead and do is either click invert or you can just uh, change the blending mode to subtract and make sure you do that on the mask and not actually on the clip itself. So this one down here, and then you'll go over to your content aware fill panel, which if it's not there, you can go up to window and then open up content aware fill right here and it'll just open this guy up here now sometimes it won't have the generate fill layer thing you'll just have to go ahead and close it and then reopen it here so go there and then it'll show up here so make sure your cursor is on the very first frame and then we'll go ahead and just click generate fill layer and it takes about three minutes for it to generate each of the frames and then once that's done, you're going to get something like this. I already did it, so this is what mine looks like. It shouldn't give you any issues or anything like that. And then this is what it looks like without my head right there. So obviously, it doesn't look perfect, but you know it's not really going to matter once you add on the effects and everything. And I'm also going to go into detail about how easily you can animate the 3D skull. So what I went ahead and did is I actually just grabbed a still image because I realized my body wasn't moving. And I just asked ChatGPT to go ahead and remove my head. Um, and then I went into Photoshop and then I just took the lasso tool, went around this, and then it came up to edit, generative fill layer. And then I just did, you know, like add, chain, click to generate. And then it gave me this one right here. You're going to have to play around with the prompts a little bit. This is like a corkscrew. So now you guys can bring in the still frame and then just drag it above wherever your clip is. In this case, I have the original footage and then I have this footage. I'll just use this for now. So I went to this website called Sketchfab and you guys can find really high quality stuff. You can just go in here, type in whatever you want and then make sure to click downloadable and then go find a cool skull that you like. So this one is the one that I used, I believe. And I like this one because it has some realistic textures like on the forehead and whatnot. And then you want to click download and make sure that there's an OBJ file format and this is what you're going to use in element 3d and after effects that that's the only 3d file type that works really in after effects i think there's one other file type i don't remember what it is go to new i'm gonna so i'm gonna right click down here go to new and create a solid layer and then set that to any color and then i'll add on element 3d right here and then this is a paid plugin by the way this is not sponsored or anything but I think there is a way that you can animate OB OBJ files without Element 3D and After Effects, like without any plugins. But um, today, this is just what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go to Scene Setup and then click Import. And then your OBJ file is just going to look like this guy right here. Go ahead and click that and click Open. And then always click Use Auto Normals right here. It's kind of small, but I hope you guys can see that. And then click OK. And then click Normalize Size. And then it's going to be just, you know, blank white like this. You're going to click on your scene materials. It's automatically going to open this up for you guys. So you're going to click that. And then this is going to bring up your texture. So your Diffuse, Normal Bump, and Occlusion are usually the three most important. And now what I like to do is I like to just drag it directly on here. So go over here, click on that scene material again, make sure that you have your textures pulled up. And then for diffuse, it's always gonna be the diffuso, labeled diffusion or diffuso. And then you're gonna drag this straight onto the diffuse and you're gonna see it's gonna bring on that texture right there. So it's super easy, but not complicated at all. And then the normal, is always going to be the normal bump right here. So go ahead and just drag that normal bump. And then if we zoom in here, 
we're gonna see this is what it looks like with the bump and then this is what it looks like without so it's gonna add some of that that texture on there and then right here where you see 100% just go ahead and drag this up and it's gonna bring those textures in there and make them a lot more noticeable obviously don't crank it all the way up but somewhere around 200 i think looks good dang it's so wild to see this is like a real i think this is a real scan of a real skull possibly maybe 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 not <laughs> all right okay and then you're gonna see once i bring it in here it's too small so we're gonna go back into scene setup and then just increase the scale a bit like that and then we're gonna just scale this down and then I'm going to snag a point where my head is facing forward and then I'm just going to match it up with my head. So we're going to match up the skull and the width. So let's just go ahead and literally just stretch it like this. Doesn't have to be too complicated. Bring it up like that. And as you guys can see, it's fitting my head really well. So now I'm going to go down here and open up particle replicator rotation. And then it's going to bring up these three keyframes. And you're going to set these keyframes wherever you want. And as you guys can see, you guys can move it left to right with this value, the Y, X, move it up and down along the X axis. And then the Z rotation, you're going to rotate it side to side like that. So really simple. 3D animation is actually not that complicated. And even you're going to see with these keyframes here, they're going to be super easy. So yeah, man, let's just move it to the left and as you guys can see it's lining up with my jaw perfectly i didn't even have to do anything and then what i'll do is along here i moved my head slowly to the other side and as soon as it stops so as soon as my head stops right there maybe move over one two three four five keyframes you're gonna keyframe that to go over like that and now as you guys can see we're gonna have this right here just like that so it's pretty close but obviously you know, it looks, if I make everything invisible, you guys can see it, it looks very robotic. It looks like an animatronic. So, you know, that's not what we want. So we're going to click the layer and then click U on our keyframes. And then we're going to highlight the keyframes and do F9 on your keyboard or right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. And then you're going to open up your graph editor. Now I accidentally opened up After Effects 2022, but it's the same in 2025. Um, then you're going to highlight these keyframes and then just really, I think just dragging this over slightly will do the trick. It's just going to kind of ease it in and make it look a lot, as you guys can see, it's going to make it look a lot smoother. Now it's a little bit too smooth, so let's go ahead and just adjust it. But yeah, just play around with those keyframes however you guys want. And then again, so when my head moves back over to the left, right before it moves is when you're going to set the keyframe. So go ahead and set those keyframes over here. You can you can set the keyframes here or here or up here. And then you're going to bring it right here when my head stops again. It's also slightly tilting up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is bring it back over, okay? And then tilt it back just a tiny bit that way. And yeah, and as you guys can see, just like that, we can kind of move these two keyframes over maybe a little bit and then you can highlight these two sets again go into your graph editor and then it's going to give you this wonky half oval shape right here which you don't want obviously so you can hold z on your keyboard and then it's going to bring up your magnifying tool and if you just drag you can zoom in like that and then you guys can move this little bastard over like that just to make it a little bit smoother or actually yeah, just a little bit not too much um, you can also exit out and then drag these over like that you know and then also what you can do is you can pre-comp your layer and then you can you guys can add like a little bit of wiggle so and for example i could do sapphire shake if you guys kind of want that you know like natural kind of head bobbing movement because obviously you know when i when i am just looking at you guys you know i'm not my head's not going to be perfectly still all the time you know i'm going to be wiggling around a little bit so but it's just looking like a floating head and what i went ahead and did is i just added a little bit of lumetri color to composite it in a little bit it's just helping it blend a little bit more so my thought process with this is i just wanted to kind of bring up the contrast a little bit bring down the shadows and then make sure that the shadows in here match the shadows in there 
just kind of like stuff like that. So as you guys can see, it's like a very, very, very slight difference, but it just makes it look a little bit different. But obviously I'm not going for realism in this bitch. I'm just trying to make a dope music video effect. What I can do is add on one of my grunge presets. So I'm just going to do control alt Y and then just add on one of my grunge presets. This is linked down in the description if you guys are interested. This is what it looks like when I add it on here. So obviously these are all customizable and it looks a little bit too dark for my liking. So you can just boost up the whites like that and then, you know, kind of play with this until you get something that you like. And one of these invert presets that I really like, if you go into channel and then change it to luminance, it creates a really nice kind of black and white look. And then you guys can obviously, you know, play with these, bring down the blacks, bring down the shadows a little bit. And yeah, so I have something that looks like this. And um, once you add on that effect, it really, it gets rid of all like the realism. And, and I added on the, the night sky preset from Sapphire. I, I saw this negative space right here. I just thought it'd be cool to like add something. So what you can do is, you know, add on night sky and then you can turn up the latitude and then you can turn up the star brightness as well to make those stars pop out a little bit more. And you guys can see it just adds that kind of cool night sky effect over there. It just, you know, adds to the ethereal, weird kind of grunge feel to this. But yeah, so, you know, definitely an interesting video effect. Again, I'm posting every day this month, so make sure to stay tuned. And if you guys want to support the channel, my website's linked down in the description. It keeps the lights on here, so I really appreciate y'all boys, man. Have a great rest of your day, man. Peace out, man. Peace out, man.